right, you guys, let's start off with some pizza action. So the question is right there on the screen, who ate more pizza? Was it Tony over there? Looking like he's having a great time eating pizza. He ate three line four, but we don't say that. We would say what? Uh, three fourths of the pizza. Now, did he eat the whole thing? That's right away in my head. Did he eat the whole thing? Um, no. How do you know that? How do you know he didn't eat the whole thing? Well, he ate a fraction of it, a part of it, three fourths of it. If he would have eaten four fourths, that would have been the whole thing. He was close to eating the whole thing, but he only ate three fourths. Okay, let's go to Becky. What did Becky eat? She ate two slash mark eight, but how do you read that? Probably saying it out loud right now. If you're not, try to. Two eighths of the pizza. All right, is that a lot of pizza? Like, is that close to what Tony ate? Do you already know who ate more? Like, what would you do to prove your choice? If you're saying, I think Tony ate the most pizza, um, then how are you going to tell us, like, why? Why are you saying that? We say, well, because uh, uh, three-fourths of pizza is more than two-eighths of pizza. Okay, well, how do you know that? What are you going to do to prove it? Okay? All right, pause the video, try to prove it. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, my thought and how a certain fraction known as a benchmark fraction, this very popular super awesome fraction that's one of the most famous fractions in the world. You can use that fraction to help you figure this out. And that fraction is most famous fraction ever. It's right there, one slash two, but that's one half. We can use one half to help us figure this out. And why? Because, okay, well, Tony, and maybe you figured it out this way. If you didn't, write this out, okay? Draw yourself a line from zero to one, put one half there in the middle, and then where would three fourths go? Is three fourths the same thing as half? Are those equal, the same, equivalent? Uh, no, okay. Well, how many fourths would you need to be at the half mark? Well, that's the same thing as how many fourths? If he would have had one fourth, would that be the same as half the pizza? No, because if I draw myself the circular pizza and he had half of it, is that the same thing as one fourth? No, because one fourth would be this chunk, okay? If I go two fourths, is that the same equal equivalent to one half? Yeah, that's half the pizza right there. So two-fourths would be the same equivalent to one-half, but he ate three-fourths. Well, what do we know now? Three-fourths is actually what compared to a half? That's more than half. This is more than half. And you're like, okay, why is this helping us? Well, if I know in my head that three-fourths is more than half, that exists over here. It's more than half, but it's not one whole pizza. Okay, so three-fourths is somewhere over here. Now let's look at two eighths. All right, two eighths. Well, is two eighths half the pizza? Well, let's see, I draw myself pizza, I cut it up into what? This is eighths. So I need to make eight slices and you guys are good at doing that. And I make them all about the same. She ate one eighth, no, she ate two eighths. Well, how many eighths would be equal equivalent to half? Well, if she would have had four of the eighths, four of the eighths, that would be the same as saying half. Did she have half the pizza? No, she had less than that, right? I'll cover it up in green. She only had two of those eighths. She would have had to have two more of the eighths to be at half. So she actually had less than half. She had less than half the pizza. Whereas over here, Tony, he had more than half the pizza. So boom, I already can compare these and I know who ate more. So Becky at two eighths exists down here. That is less, it's smaller than one half. So two eighths is somewhere over here. 
She didn't have zero of the pizza. She did have something. It was just less than half. So I can say that three-fourths is greater than two-eighths. Why? Well, I could type that out. Three-fourths is greater than two-eighths because three-fourths is more than half. And two half the pizza, since we're talking pizza. And two eighths is less than half of a pizza. Yeah, that's why I can use half to help me figure it out. Okay, so let's practice some of these. Let's take a look at this first. Well, one half is already done for us. There it is. There's half this rectangle right here. Okay, but now it's saying, well, what fraction is this guy? Is this half? Uh, no, that's, um, that's not halves. That's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are eighths. So that's going to go on the bottom denominator. And how many of those eighths do we have? We have one, two, three of them. We have three of the eighths. Now, was that the same equal to one half? Uh, no, it was less. We would have had to have one more eighth to be equal. So I'm not going to put equal. No, they're not equal. Okay, so I'm going to use an inequality. I'm going to give three eighths one dot, one half two dots because it's greater, it's bigger, and I have my inequality sign, which is the less than sign. So I can read it this way and go three eighths is less than one half, okay? Or I could read it this way and say one half, I can read it backwards, is greater than three eighths, all right? There's some different ones to figure out, but let's take a look at some of these. So let's take a look at this one. If I'm comparing six twelfths to one half, what am I gonna say? Well, I could draw myself a picture to figure this out. Or I can say, okay, well, one half, all right, one half, is six twelfths more or less than one half? Well, oh my gosh, half of 12 is six. So if I'm on a number line and I go from zero to one, one, if I'm working in twelfths, would be 12 twelfths. So where would six twelfths be? Smack dab in the middle. Six twelfths would be, because six plus six is 12. Six is half of 12. So that means six twelfths is the same, equal, equivalent, to one half. Awesomeness. Okay, let's try one more. Let's look at this one. What if I'm comparing five six to a half? Are those the same, equal, equivalent to each other? Well, let's see. If I'm now not doing twelfths, now I'm doing six. And I say, okay, well, six six would be one whole pizza, if I'm thinking pizza. What would half of that pizza be? Well, half wouldn't be six six. What's half a six? <gasps> three. So th that would be smack dab in the middle. So three six would be the same equal equivalent to one half. And uh, we don't have three six, we have five six. So five six would actually be over here because five six is more than three six. So it's more than a half. It was greater than a half. Okay? All right, use that half to help you figure out problems where you might not even see one half. So all of these have one half in them. So let's go ahead and try one down here where you do not see one half. Like this guy, I don't see a half. How is it gonna help me to think about a half? Well, right away, you guys, I know one of these fractions is, is more than a half and one of them is less than a half. So boom, I can figure out the answer pretty quick. Which one is more than a half? Hmm, well, let's look at this one. We did this one earlier. We worked in twelfths right here. What was half of 12 twelfths? Um, six twelfths. And look at, we only have three of the twelfths. So this one is less than one half. Where's this guy over here? He must be more, let's see. What's half of eight? Uh, half of eight is four. So if I put that here, and I put here's my one, and we're working in eighths, so this would be eight eighths. Half of eight 
would be four. So four eighths is the same thing as half, but we have five of those eighths. So that's a little bit more than half. So this one was more than a half. So since this guy was more than a half, this one was less than half, what can we say about these fractions? Well, they're not equal, are they? No way, no. Five eighths would then be greater, more than three twelfths. Okay, use that half, it helps. Half it up!